Hi, you guys, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and welcome to my September setup video. Full disclosure, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck today because I'm not only going to do my usual seven by nine planner monthly setup, but I have a terrific September A5 size kit. So I'm going to decorate my daily duo monthly spread as well. I've already printed out this picture of the cover of The Next Right Thing. This is going to be my book of the month for September. I printed this on HP Sprocket zinc paper, which is actually a sticker paper. You just peel off the back and you have a sticker. But we'll set aside the dashboard for now and just do the monthly spread first. My sticker kit is from Magnolia Planner Shop. It is a printable kit. I printed this on weatherproof matte sticker paper from online labels. And I took one of the sheets, went ahead and added text before I printed this so that I would not have to write in birthdays and a few other upcoming events that I already know about. And here is the dashboard page. So the thing I love about Magnolia Planner Shop is that the printable kit comes with not just these three sheets, but there's an additional one that has a different sort of option for your dashboard page that includes habit trackers. If that's what your jam is, you, you will also have that option. I prefer this. So I only printed three of the four pages, but you get a monthly kit as well as this dashboard kit for very low. I'm, I'm thinking it's in the ballpark of $3. you get the Erin Condren sticker subscription, you've probably got this sheet. You know, for some reason in my sticker subscription, there were two of these sheets, so I have a bonus one. I'm going to mail it to one of you. If you are a member of my Facebook group, which is called Plan Sarah Plans Planner Circle, just join, make sure you answer the three questions, and I'll do some sort of a little contest, very low key, 
if you win, I will mail this in a greeting card, like a Dollar Tree greeting card, okay? So don't expect like a fancy package, <laughs> but head over to my Facebook group if you would like to enter for a chance to win this. Have you had your first pumpkin spice latte? I have not. They're available now. I want to at least wait until the month of September. September 7th is the first day of the school year of piano for me. And I thought this little purple planner from an older September sheet would look nice and I can put an event label on top of it. Let's use this little hexagon that says hello fall on the 22nd. Yet another old sticker sheet, so we'll see how the sticky is on this. So far, so good. Just a little plug for yours truly. This is pretty much it for the monthly spread in my 7x9, which is my weekly planner. And I just put some bullet points over here. I absolutely love how the off-brand dot markers are working on this paper. I don't at all worry about bleed through because I'm going on a sticker before I, you know, it has that extra layer above the paper. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'll link a video where I did a review pen test of the, not these, these. These are off-brand dot markers that are kind of like the Zig color dot markers. Clean color dot, these are called free color spot. And they're shorter and, you know, they're a little bit inferior, but they are extremely similar and they're also a great deal. So here is a clean color dot marker from Zig. I do have a four pack of these. I find that on directly on the Erin Condren paper, I prefer these, but the Nyart dot markers work terrific on this sticker paper and any sticker paper that I've tried so far. They also work great on the Moxie Life paper. They don't seem to bleed through at all there. Now let's go on, before we do the dashboard, let's go ahead and set up the Daily Duo A5 size. For this one, I have a kit from Mama Gloria Shop, as I said before. It's kit number 35, and here are the colors. Really nice looking, and you know, just a different spin. I love seeing everybody's different take on how to do the monthly stickers. And look how cute the little size event stickers and boxes are for the A5. And the sidebar is divided up. That's one thing I like about Mama Gloria's kit. You can order from Mama Gloria and not pay full price if you use my discount code, which is Sarah20. So always remember to do that when you order from Mama Gloria. She's not a printable shop. This is a shop in Ukraine that has remarkably fast service given their location. And you should follow them on Instagram because they do these little mini plan with me's in a time lapse and they're really fun to watch. Now 
to look here. If you do have the ring system, you're going to find that you have to punch a little bit to make this work. I think this is going to be just perfect if you have a coiled A5 size, but that's not a big deal. It's just a little bit of overhang there. Okay, this one's done, this one's done. I think they're very complimentary color schemes to completely different shops. But now let's go on to the seven by nine dashboard page. And I'm using the Magnolia Planner Shop dashboard kit for that. On this page, I will list all of my memory verses for the month. So there will be one per week. And on this page, here's what I like to do. I put my book of the month here, my budget to-do list here, my home to-do list here, and one focus or challenge for the month down in this box. Here we are, all finished. So here is my dashboard spread with the memory verses here, my budget to do, my home to do, my focus for this month, which I decided to make keeping the towels and sheets fresh and clean. So last month, my focus was keeping the piano cleared off. So here we go, keep the piano cleared off. And the month before that, it was keep the dining room table cleared off. This, I, I hope to continue doing those things. I'm not going to stop working on those things, but this is my focus. Keep the towels fresh and clean. And I thought that was kind of humorous. Fall is proof that change, as in change the sheets, is beautiful. My book of the month is The Next Right Thing by Emily P. Freeman. And if you're wondering what this is about, I've just sampled a little bit of it. I'm just getting started, but it has to do with making good decisions. And it comes from a Christian perspective, which I appreciate. And I've got some to-dos and challenges here. In my home to-do, last week I purged my wardrobe. I took a ton of stuff to donate 
um, actually it was last week, but last month was when that was my focus. I have not yet done my before and after of my file drawer, but I still have like three or four days left of the month of August, so I'm going to get on that. I did reorganize my sticker book, so that was good. I've done all of these things up here in the budget. I finished the Lazy Genius Way. These are the memory verses that I've been working on. We're on this one right now. And what I decided to do, I, there is one more kind of partial week in September, but since that weekly spread is going to show up here after the October tab, I decided to just stop with these four verses. And I chose verses that loosely relate to you are always worthy, which is on the September page. I thought, just thought of that actually. I didn't do that on July or August, but I just thought of that. So I looked for verses that had to do with our worth in Christ and the way that God values us and how we can have confidence in that value. And the reason I'm explaining is some people ask me how I get my memory verses. So that's how I chose these. And I also wanted to go back and forth alternating between Old Testament and New Testament. So next month, my husband loves this kind of stuff. I feel like he's better at it than I am. I chose these, but I've got him on the job already for October to choose us some verses for giving ourselves the compassion that we give to others. And I have a feeling we might find some verses um, having to do with God's compassion for us. And then my monthly spread is here. And then of course I also had the monthly spread in my A5, which is right here. And normally I don't do a monthly spread like with stickers in my A5, but since I have this beautiful September kit from Mama Gloria, I did this month. Also September is my birthday month, so I just kind of like to do it up a little extra. And of course the first day of fall is the 22nd of September. So that was a big video. Hopefully it didn't take too long with all of the time lapse in there. Um, but thank you for joining me. I will be doing a monthly spread in my teacher planner since piano lessons are going to start. So I'm either going to modify a seven by nine kit and enlarge it, or I will just create my own kit, which I have kind of uh, done before with some varying degrees of success. But I will be doing a teacher move-in video in the next uh, week or so. So if you're interested in teacher planner inspiration, that might be a fun video for you. So um, here we go into September. We are still in the hot, hot days of August, but fall is just around the corner. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.